These days, you see carbon fiber on all types of cars, everything from Land Rovers to Porsches to Ferraris like this one. But what exactly is carbon fiber? Why are there so many different types of it? And how exactly is it made? That's what we're gonna cover in this video. Carbon fiber was invented in a laboratory near Cleveland, Ohio in the year 1958. It's roughly five times as strong as steel, twice as stiff, far lighter, and much better looking. And that's why you see it used in a lot of aircraft, sports equipment, and exotic cars like this one. Carbon fiber is made by taking a long strand of fiber, using an organic polymer like polyacrylonitrile, and heating it up to an extreme temperature, usually several thousand degrees, but without oxygen, so it can't just burn up. This carbonizes the fiber and reduces it to almost 100% carbon atoms. The individual carbon strands are then treated, woven together into some sort of complex pattern, and coated with a protective plastic covering. After that, it's shipped around the world to be used in chassis, suspension parts, interior and exterior trim pieces, and all sorts of car parts. The different types of carbon fiber usually come into play when you're weaving the strands together, because generally, the more complex you weave it, the stronger it's gonna be. A couple common types of weave would be the plain weave and the twill weave, but you can get pretty fancy and even put strands of colored wire in between the weaves to make it look prettier if you're using it as an interior piece. I've seen that in Land Rovers before. But then there's another type of carbon fiber that's kind of apart from the different weaves you can have, and that's called forged carbon, sometimes chopped carbon. I believe Lamborghini was one of the first to use this, but now it's been moved along to manufacturers like Aston Martin, things like that. Basically, it's this paste of plastic and chopped up carbon strands that is squeezed out into a mold and hardened into a somewhat carbon fiber-like substance. It's a lot easier to make because it's a lot easier to mold. You're not technically weaving anything together, you're just pouring it out into a mold, so it's a lot easier and cheaper for manufacturers to make, but because it's not woven together, it's probably not gonna be as strong or as pretty in my opinion. If you wanna learn more about carbon fiber, you can watch the video I did on the history of McLaren's carbon fiber chassis right there. But as always guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment your thoughts below, and go ahead and check out my channel because I've got a ton of exotic supercar, hypercar, and exotic car reviews up. So remember to subscribe, and thanks for watching.